Hey everyone, welcome back with Accredited Laboratory. Today's lecture and the coming lectures, inshallah, will be around one of the very important subjects for any lab analyst. Quality control and the quality assurance. You need to ensure the performance of your method and you need to ensure that you can get valid results within acceptable range for any methods inside any method inside the lab and also you need to ensure the competency of your lab analysts so you need to ensure that your results are accurate accurate accuracy which is closeness of results together and to the true value or expected value so accuracy which is equivalent to, to the quality of results if the accuracy is high quality of results is high and if the accuracy is low so quality of results would be low accuracy closeness of results together and to the true value in this graph you will find that this is the true value or expected value and these results are accurate because close together and to the true value and within a acceptable range within acceptable range based on the guidelines used but this result is far from the true value if the expected value or true value is 10 bbb and you get 9 or 8 or 7 bbb all of them should be within acceptable range according to the guideline used so errors should be controlled to get high accuracy you should control the errors you cannot remove all errors but errors should be controlled because for any analysis for any analysis there should be a percentage of errors but these errors should not affect the accuracy of results all results should be within acceptable range according to the guideline used in the guidelines some of guidelines you will find acceptance limit especially for recovery always you will find the recovery from this point from this to this limit from this limit to this limit all of your results should be within this limit according to the guideline you select but which guideline I can use to know the acceptance limit? We have two types of guidelines. We have reference method and non-reference or non-standard or lab developed method. Reference method, which is method developed and validated by a group of laboratories and published as a reference method. So any lab can use this method to analyze the same target analytes in the same matrix and you need only to verify some performance parameters to ensure that you can get accurate results using this method so this is the reference method inside the reference method you will find the method steps and you will find also some method performance parameters to evaluate the method or to verify the method inside your lab and also acceptance limit or quality control procedures that you should follow with every run with the and acceptance limit also will be mentioned there so everything will be with this method such as standard method for water or any other reference methods non-reference or non-standard or lab developed method methods developed inside the lab you search for publication to find out what the analysts did before to analyze these target analytes in the same matrix then you find different publications about this type of analysis and you try to develop your method inside the lab using based on your budget and based on what chemicals you have inside the lab and what instrument you have inside the lab then you find or develop at the end one method which is specific for your lab so you need to validate this method so also you need to depend on a specific guideline you will select a specific guideline to be followed such as Eurochem guideline or Santa guideline or any other guideline in these guidelines you will find all acceptance limits so acceptance limit will be mentioned for every quality for every for quality control procedures inside these guidelines and in reference method inside the reference method so you need to control the errors to ensure that all of your results are accurate within acceptable range or valid within acceptable range as here in this example the expected value is equal to 10 microgram per kilogram in the sample and you did replicate 
replicate spikes, replicate analysis for these samples, you found 9, 8, 7, 7 7.5, and here you also found 6, 5, and 4. Recovery, as I explained before, equal to practical value divided by the expected value multiplied to 100. And in the guideline you have selected, you found that recovery equal to 70 up to 120 percentage. This is the acceptable range. So all of your results should be within this acceptable range. Because how can I say this result is closed to the, to, to the true or the expected value. How can I ensure this? I should have ex acceptable range to say this. So the acceptable range is from 70 up to 120 percentage. So all of these results are closed together and also to the true value, these results are accurate. But these results are far from the true value, close together closed together six five four but far from the true value so this re these results are inaccurate so finally to get accurate results you need to control or reduce the errors and to do this you need to have an instrument and method which are fit for your purpose fit for your for your purpose means that as example if you analyze chloram of nicole which has minimum performance required limit or maximum residual limit less than 0.3 microgram per kilogram which is very low concentration this is the maximum you can have higher than this concentration is rejected and lower than this concentration or equal to this concentration is accepted this is the minimum performance required limit for chloram of nicole because it's a carcinogenic or banned compound prohibited compound so for this compound you need a very high sensitive instrument to be able to analyze this low concentration and also for other compound as as example other compound which has maximum residue limit higher one ppm as example one milligram per kilogram in this case you need an instrument lower sensitivity with lower sensitivity to be able to analyze the higher concentrations so it's very important to select the instrument at the beginning to be fit for your purpose not the, the best instrument in the world but fit for your purpose and then you will select the method which is fit for this an instrument after that you need to validate or verify this method for reference method need to be verified and for lab developed method need to be validated finally you need to have quality control procedure every run with every run you should run some quality control samples to ensure the performance of your method and the contents of your lab, lab stuff and to ensure that you can get valid results within acceptable range and that will be explained in the coming lectures inshallah in details thank you and see you in the next lecture